Move Copier is a new Blender add-on that works as a simple tool for copy and mash along the selected edge loop. This add-on is from a talented developer who created a lot of Blender add-ons, especially those about modeling and smart ways about doing that. This add-on in particular looks like it works almost the same as the array modifier, but it is actually quite different. The original mesh elements will deform when applying the array modifier along with the curve modifier since the curve modifier bends it, which is undesirable to say the least. This add-on was developed specifically to solve this problem. The add-on doesn't deform the mesh that it will create for you when you want to make or create hard surface objects such as tanks, armors, magazines, chains, etc. Additionally, the add-on has many cool tools that can help you achieve what you want as a result. The first feature we should mention is that you can choose the number of copies that you want, and you can also set the rotation, scale, and offset. You can also copy objects whether on a closed loop such as a circle or even an open-ended edge such as a path or curve. This tool can also be used to copy objects on already existing edges or other meshes, and this can be a replacement for the instancing node on geometry nodes. Another thing that this add-on allows you to do is to replace the copied object on a curved surface on a selected edge using face normals. In the new update of the add-on, the developer added support for geometry nodes, where now you can check the option box in the menu to enable the setup of geometry nodes, and then you can edit the geometry node setting anytime, and even make some animations from it. Using this add-on, you can honestly get rid of the array and curve modifiers because it provides an easier and better solution. And using it, you can create chains and loops of stairs, and you can also use it to create, for example, copies of buttons on top of a shirt, which is cool. To use this add-on is fairly simple. In addition, it is not very expensive, which brings a great value to your money, in my opinion. Just on a side note, I want you to be careful about something. When you are modeling in Blender, you cannot scale objects inside the object mode. Otherwise, it will confuse the Blender Mesh data for the add-on. So instead, try to scale objects inside the edit mode only. So press the Ctrl plus A keys, then press S key to scale the objects as usual. If you are interested in this add-on, you will find the necessary links in the description. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel to stay updated with the latest news of the CG industry. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.